Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to configure a footprint or a market profile chart on the ATAS order flow trading platform. So you do have a couple methods of doing so, but I'm going to start from just a basic normal chart. So if you want to, you can also open this up through a tick cluster right here. But again, we're just going to stick with a normal chart. And just to show you, you can also go through this little open menu and choose from here. So let's start with the chart. And we're going to do the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2019. So we'll get our contract there. Click on open and our chart open up on the left hand side or sorry, my left monitor. So let's expand this and start from here. So now by default, um, the platform will likely open up to candlesticks as we're looking up right now. If you do go through that normal chart method, if you're not already familiar with how to do so, you can change your chart mode by coming up here. It looks like a little picture of a monitor almost drop this down and then choose from one of the following options. So if we're on candles. You can choose bars, transparent candles, line charts, and of course, clusters. And this is what we're going to be focused on. So as you can see, this actually already gives us a nice, you know, looking footprint chart here. So you can either, you know, zoom in or out of it as you need the numbers within those charts and the volume get a little bit bigger and the price action they're associated to. So it really depends on what exactly you need now to customize this. And you may have noticed, and if you haven't already, when you do activate these tick clusters, as they call them there, you'll get this side panel that opens up and activates a whole bunch of different options here. Now, this is where the customi customization comes into play. And this is where you really can go wild with it. So whatever I do here, I just want to give you a small disclaimer that this may not be technically accurate. I just like to walk you through the different settings that you have within these options. So again, just because I choose something, it may not have any sort of actual rhyme or reason to what I'm actually doing. But again, I just want to show you the features of this platform and how to configure these types of charts on here. So of course, first up, we have our volume. There's several different volume levels in which we can adjust our filter that'll give our chart a different display. So let's just go through them. We could do gradient volume. You see that changes it quite a bit. We have things as delta colored volume. So, you know, the delta, as you can see here down in the bottom left is shown that's highlighted by red. So you can specifically see those delta volumes there. We have a volume histogram, which similar, but this obviously changes things up and you're not going to see all exactly um, the numbers. Instead, you're getting a histogram of volume instead, just so it's more graphical rather than number based. Continuing on, let's go through the other options. We have volume digital histogram. So again, you're getting your um, you getting are getting those histogram uh, graphs there. But in this this instead, you are getting the numbers as well. So anything with the word digital next to it is going to give you some um, actual numbers there. We also have delta colored volume histogram. So this is going to be similar. Obviously, we do get that digital aspect as well and just instead of this one where it's getting a little bit of a combination of, you know, the volume histogram or sorry, excuse me, the Delta colored volume. And we're getting a mix of that and the histogram at once. And then finally it's volume and trade. So this is kind of a combination of everything of the sort. Um, and you know, you're getting colors, you're getting volume, you're getting price levels and you're getting the Delta associated with those colors. So this is a nice option. Let's continue on now. So now we can also also filter by trades instead of volume. So again, this is very similar um, to what we just went through, but now we can filter off of trades rather than volume. Very similar options as we've seen before. But again, just remember, these are now filtered by trades rather than volume in the market. So again, you know, you have your graduated, you have Delta colored, we have a regular histogram. We have histogram with numbers here, and then we have instead of volume times delta as we or volume times trade, as we saw in the last one, this one is just going to focus on delta colored trades histogram. So if you want both volume and the number of trades, this right here, this option under volume is probably going to be your best bet. And for many of you that are familiar with, let's say, you know, market delta, therefore print charts, this is going to be very similar to that. Continuing on, let's go to time. So again, you can continue and filter based off time. So as we've seen before, we have graduated time. Delta colored. 
histograms, which does look a little bit weird with time, and then time digital histograms. Let's continue on. So now we have bid and ask. And again, similar to what we've seen before, this is just going to give us the bid and ask rather than a price or rather than a volume level. And again, or excuse me, rather than a trade. But this really depends on what you need. Everybody's going to have a different method or strategy which they trade with. I suggest going through like I'm doing right now, seeing exactly what you need. This is actually quite nice because you can see the bid and ask represented in both numbers digitally and rep, uh, visually represented by either red or green. You can see the bid and ask down there on the bottom right as well as delta. Let's continue on. So here's the volume profile. This is obviously quite nice for those of you that are interested in volume profile. There is one for just delta profile. And then we have imbalance as well. Finally, you have delta options, so you can filter based off of delta, volume times delta, and delta profile. Now, of course, this is obviously, and I keep on stressing it, this is going to differentiate between trader to trader. Everybody has their own personal preference here. Keep in mind that, you know, once you have your actual volume or, you know, your footprint or market profile chart, um, configured as needed, you can also come up to the top here and you have much more options to filter through. So we can do different time intervals. You can select through and I just did seconds data. So this actually might take a second to load here. Okay, we do have different ranges, we can filter off of Delta itself, we can do Renko charts if you want. Let's give it a minute for this to load up here. Hopefully it won't be too long, but I'll pull up another chart for the meantime, just so you guys can see the other options in here. So we, as you saw, we have Renko charts. Oh, there we go, our Renko just loaded up. This looks quite nice. We also have reversal charts, order flow, cumulative trades, and then of course you can configure this down here in the bottom right, and you can just pretty much configure as needed. You can also, if you're interested in visually customizing any of these options, you can come up to settings up in the top right here. This is where, for one, you can change background colors of your charts. Two, you can change your grid colors, access colors. Here you have different candle customization, bar customization. Of course, we focus a lot on histogram within this, so of course you're going to change, if you want, bid and ask colors, um, you know, line colors of your histograms, session times, then you have as you can see, cluster settings, which is really what we're going to want to focus on. So these are where you're going to want to focus on for this particular video, your bid and ask colors, the background of uh, clusters, if you use one, text colors for your clusters, aka, you know, your footprint charts, the text you see within here, your font, the proportion settings, how the bars are proportionate to each other, volume selections, filters, all of this nature is going to be within these customization options. And again, you can come up to the top right and just click on settings. There are also trading settings, but I'm not going to dive into that because we just did create a video on that subject. So if you're interested in that, head over to our last video on how to activate one click trading and how to trade from the chart. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, just keep in mind that you can always right click on a chart too to get into these visual settings. And there are some other settings here. And, you know, you have multiple ways to change layouts and instruments and things like that. But other than that, this should give you a pretty quick rundown on how to activate and how to configure footprint charts and, you know, market profile charts. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. Or you can head over to our community forum and we'll gladly answer your questions there. If you're not familiar with it, the link is posted down in the comment section or excuse me, the description down below. It's community.optimistfutures.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more ATAS order flow trading content, and as always, thanks for watching.